It is travel day. You should see how I was vlogging with my nephews earlier. I'm gonna show you. Really? I'll show you what they'll say. Guys, I'm finally at the airport with Zimi. We've checked in. We're at the slow lounge. We decided to get ourselves a glass of bubbles and some fruits and some cheese while we wait. We have a good like two hour wait before um, we check in. I mean, before we board onto our flight. So we are just relaxed dolls because re organized like right down to the T. Um, it's so busy in the slow lounge and apparently it's gonna get busier. It only gets quiet after six. But we are nice and comfortable and cozy and now we're just gonna chill and catch up before we get onto a very long flight. So let me show you my travel partner. She's literally the cutest human. Hey bestie. How are you? Thank you. How are you? Are you ready? So excited. So ready. So ready. We are like so ready. I love it though. <laughs> we are only boarding at 20 past 6 and it's what? 4 o'clock? That's fine. Organized. Love Cheers, it. babe. Cheers. We just have to take a video. reporting live from Frankfurt International um, we've just landed and it is 25 to 8 our flight to Portugal is only at 12 so we've got lots of time to curl so we decided to um, stop to get a bite to eat to get something to drink and homegirl wants eggs we're no longer in this land where there's a wimpy and uh, what do you have Bacon, eggs, um, cherry tomatoes, avo, that kind of thing. All I know is that in Europe, these people believe in bread. bread. Who eats bread in 2022? <laughs> like, There's so how much do you bread. stay slim? How do you stay fit? How do you keep your muscles in your belly? Like, just reminds me of a food part, and that's not what I'm trying to do. No. Who eats bread in 2022? I'd like to know that. This I don't is a eat sign bread. to get your money up. Because if you were in business class, you would have checked into the business lounge, and I'm sure they, they have eggs. I don't have eggs, but I'm sure they have like fruit and a lovely selection of like treats. But anyways, to cry does not help. That's not going to help us right now. So we've ordered croissants with some juice and water. Um, we're just going to chill here. Um, maybe walk around again later before we hop on to the next leg of our flight. How long is the flight from here to Portugal? So we leave here at 25 to 1, we should get there at 20 to, 20 to 3. So it's so like flight. a two hour flight. So yeah, the flight here from Joburg was stunning because I slept right through. I watched a nice movie, I watched House of Gucci. I should have done that. It was so nice. You can watch it on your way to Back. Portugal. I think well, on your way back home I was shot Gucci very interesting very very nice and then I slept then did I not get my ass interrogated at immigration when I got here they're like what's the reason for being here I said I'm going to a festival <laughs> they're like when are you leaving then I forgot my dates now I wanted to say the the 13th because that's when I'm leaving Germany I said the the, 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 the 5th then they're like Where's your return? Do you have a return ticket? Yes. How much money do you have in your account? Uh, 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 uh. That was really impressive. You were so aggressive. But that's just how it would be when you're traveling while black. So And pretty. And stunning. He was so hot though, but he was so aggressive, which I did not appreciate. But it's fine because I actually have my things in order. So I don't know why I was also panicking because I have everything. I have my shit together. Anyways, 
can't wait to to get to Portugal at this point and just take off everything that I'm wearing and get into like something cool and comfortable and friend so we'll have a nice dinner then we'll go out for a nice meal because I don't think we're going to get a nice meal anytime soon and I don't mind not eating yeah so we'll just have to wait Wait until we get home, we'll check in, we'll check in settle in, settle in, change, look for an outfit, and then. I don't think we want to change the scale, that's necessary. No, that's unnecessary. Oh, we want to go get our wristbands for the festival, um, change, freshen up, and then go have like a nice din din. Yeah, and then we'll wait. Um, my sister is arriving. Is she arriving today? 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> oh, we'll be awake. She's busy shopping in Paris now because she decided that she'll wait last minute to, to, come, to come on this trip. On this trip, even though this trip was initially hers. <laughs> Literally, we crashed her trip and we became it became our trip. She decided like a week ago, well, actually, I'm going, I'm going. So we're gonna see her at 2 a.m. We're gonna wait up for her. We bumped into friends, so that's amazing. Um, so we'll have lots of things to do while we wait for her. So yeah, see you guys in Portugal. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Fred, I want to learn the language. You are your guys, I'm with the biggest doll. I can't, I can't just see me. This is going to be a very... I don't know if our friendship is going to survive this. Trip. I'm sure, I'm sure you will. Because I know what I'm getting myself. Hello Portugal, we have arrived. Guys, our place is so nice. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know where to start. We really outdid ourselves in terms of finding the most bomb Airbnb. It's right by the harbor. There's a strip of restaurants and bars. The train station is behind the restaurants and bars. There's um, a McDonald's on the other side of the apartment block. There's the supermarket that side. Trust me, we didn't research it to that point. I feel like we just wanted to see, we just wanted to find a place that's really, really nice. And also like, um, we can easily access the festival. It is 30 minutes away from the festival, which is a bit far, but cause I know a lot of people got accommodation that's like five to 10 minutes away. But I really like this place because it's just giving. Like it's absolutely giving. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. Just to open up, mind our bags, but there's a walk-in mirror where I'll be doing all of my selfies and then we get into the lounge. There's a couch, there's a TV, there's another beautiful couch right here. Then it's the kitchen, very, very modern, minimal. Love the chairs. Um, there's like a coffee machine. This is the fridge, which is probably empty. Um, this is a stove, dishwasher, washing machine, all of that jazz. And then we get into the dining area, which is right here. I definitely want to be making breakfast and stuff, but I don't think Zumi is feeling that vibe. Then we have a lovely balcony. It's a nice dining area. Before I show you guys the view, I'm gonna save that for last. There's a grill. There's a nice lounge area. Then those are just some buildings, buildings, and then there's the harbor. How stunning! And apparently, Munch is a cute place for like quick brickies and stuff.
guys, we are off to. I don't know if this is focused. We're off to dinner. Okay, this lighting is so bad. I have to walk backwards. <laughs> We're off to dinner. I'm walking backwards because the lighting is is off. Um, we're walking by the harbor. You can literally see it there in the background. There's me. It's a walk away. Like all the restaurants and stuff are a walk away from our place. Because we chose the best place to stay. <laughs> like, by the harbor. Actually, we didn't, like I said earlier, we didn't know that all of this is here. But God said these girls are too organized. Let me bless them. So we are going to grab something to eat a nice dinner for two we're so hungry we haven't had the best meals because obviously we've been in the airport oh there, there's the my lashes are flying shiver howdy fofi it's very windy apparently this is like a windy area of the coast um so i hope you can hear me but we're gonna walk across that little bridge and all the restaurants are there hoping to get like a nice seafood platter Traveling, but in less than 24 hours, we have reached our final destination. <laughs> so excited to so be excited. here! This part of the, the trip doesn't work out, I'll definitely ask him to fly you out with me um, so that we can all hang out and at least you get to experience. later but it's morning and we're gonna go get some breakfast before we head to the festival to get our tickets darling it's so nice and warm today like I can't even begin to explain to you how happy I am because yesterday was so cold when we came back from dinner like we I wanted to run home that's how cold I was because I was not dressed appropriately but we're going right across the road for some Ricky. She's so mad that she didn't get to go. No, that's not why she's mad. That she didn't get to go to the local bar and have one of the margaritas with her friends for like two weeks. 
print. You'll make up for all those margaritas now. That is a crisis. It's not a crisis, friend. How is it a crisis? Do you want to take us back in the time? Or are we reposted on the same Now it's okay. You don't know what flavor this is. What is this? It's it looks like ham. It's, like it's, it's fine. Good. We're at the grocery store. We just finished getting. Where can we line up, guys? This is too long now. We finished getting our wristbands. Um, we had to go all the way to the festival to get our wristbands. So now we need some sort of. Excuse. We need some snacks, we need some water, we need a bed because I actually can't like raw dog just leaving the house. Zimmy wants us to raw dog leaving the house straight to the festival sober. Can't do that. So we got some we got some gin, water and chips. And then we're gonna go back to our place to get ready for the festival. We have such delicious cocktails um, on the side of the like the festival side which is very very nice now we're in the grocery store very very cute guys they sell spirits here which i absolutely love our pick and pay and checkers just leave us at wine at wine they say they call him it here there's at least some spirits it's a nice like chemist section i mean it, it's like being a checkers hyper nothing special about it except we just couldn't find like our normal like the brands that we're used to which is fine it's a walk away from our apartment which i love like everything is a walk away um so yeah we've got like about an hour to get ready um and then we're off to the festival everyone's looking at me crazy i love it because i don't care they look at me like well, what is this girl doing she's vlogging honey Bunch of yeah. Yes, but I'm not from here. I don't go here. So I, I cannot up. Me on chibli and it's almost swabi so it's it's almost swabi so you don't wanna be online? No, I won't put you online, don't worry. <laughs> Hey cuties, we are getting ready for the festival. I'm done. I'm gonna make myself a beverage right now while the girls finish up. And then we're gonna head to the festival. You would think it's like noon. It feels so early, but it's nearly six o'clock. Festival I think starts at five, so I feel like we're fine for time. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make myself a little bib while I wait for the girls. It's my outfit. I'll show you guys often in the long length mirror, but this is the face for the day. A video of my outfit. That's what I'm wearing. With my slides. You come up to my boobs. <laughs> I'm sure you come up to my boobs as well. <laughs> of having to carry the hotness again damn those South African girls again guys I don't think I actually understood the, the magnitude of this festival 
I'm sure I, it, it felt like there was a hundred thousand people. I mean, obviously it wasn't a hundred thousand, but that's what it felt like to me. What an amazing time! Like, I just can't wait to do it again and again and again, and just have people falling over, all over themselves every time they see us. Like, have I believe that such beauty could exist? What a fun time! Guys, is my little PJ. It's Saturday morning and we are gonna well I'm having a bev already because we're on holiday and I'm gonna go get a nice big bricky and then we're gonna go meet Audrey and spend the day with her before we head to the festival. So excited for us. So nice here. If you're not here, like where are you? Durban. <laughs> Durban. <laughs> Shame. It's okay. It's okay, guys. You'll know better. You'll know to do better. It's actually not okay, but... Next year. <laughs> it's not okay, but at least you're not in Joburg. Rather you're in Durban than Joburg. Yes, honestly. But rather you're here. But that's okay. We'll see you guys next year. Maybe. Bye. Guys, we are ready for the festival. I'm dressed. I'm wearing this, like, sparkly little cover-up and like a brown bikini underneath from Shein. I feel like my whole, <laughs> all of my festival looks are Shein looks because I needed something affordable, festival, that I'll never wear again because, yeah, these are the affirmation looks. I want to show you the full look. I just need to put it down because, which way? I need to put it down because the girl got a big booty. Booty too big. Booty too big. Oh, I can't see the shoes. I'm wearing the all-stars. This is my little mm -hmm. look for the day. We're gonna go catch a train. I'm gonna continue vlogging on my phone because I obviously have not been leaving with my camera. I don't wanna lose it. We're trying to stay out later today. So definitely not taking my camera and I'm like using a very small bag. Oh, I don't show you guys a bag that I'll be carrying. i carry this little guy um, and some cute festival Ray-Bans. So yeah, we're gonna leave now. I will document the little trip there on the train and when we get to the El Grab area place festival. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> the worst vlogger on this trip because I'm actually just having too much fun I'm having way too much fun I'm forgetting to vlog but I feel like I tell you guys every time I'm about to leave <laughs> for the festival like I'm doing right now it's Sunday it's the last day it's the finale um, we're extremely extremely exhausted but we're very very excited for today yesterday we didn't get to festival properly but we had one of the most amazing experiences of the festival got to hang out with WizKid, got to hang out with all the essay artists at like a nice after party got some backstage access super super nice um got home very very late and i woke i slept very very late but very excited for today um keen to like make the most of the last day so we want to like really experience the afrobeats um, stage. I feel like the Amma Piano stage has really been carrying the festival to be honest. But yeah, keen to see people. I feel like yesterday we only saw South African people. We didn't get to see like other festival goers. So today we're going to be within the people. Get some food. We were starving yesterday. Get some drinks and super excited. I'm wearing this pink two-piece with my new New Balance shoes. I hope I don't damage them but my shoes have been making it out alive. 
so I'm not too worried about that. We're gonna go catch the train as we've been doing every day. Um, and then, yeah, top up our tags, get some drinks in, enjoy the vibes, hopefully bump into more friends that we haven't seen while we've been here. But yeah, affirmation, last day, let's go! probably documented this trip the best but I just haven't been vlogging it that great <laughs> guys I'm so tired it's Monday and affirmation is over and it's breaking my heart I think like I just didn't want it to end it was just too good but we are spending one more day here in Portimao I mean in Faro um, before heading to Lisbon tomorrow so we've literally made an executive decision to fucking rest today we're just gonna eat and rest because like the, the festival really took a lot out of us I don't think I've like walked that much in my life grooved that much in my life I definitely didn't drink as much as I like usually do when I'm out and stuff but I mean look at my face I literally look exhausted like my eyes are swollen my face is swollen but yeah like we're just really really tired we've been eating one meal a day which is a bit crazy what's this choo, choo, choo. oh it's bending there at Edward home um i don't even know what i was saying but we're gonna go to mcdonald's i'm so excited to try out the mcdonald's here i'm so excited just to eat fucking mcdonald's like i can't remember the last time i was grooving like even in saudi like gone to Groove or like woken up the next morning from Groove and had a McDonald's meal because I was trying so hard to eat well for this trip but we're here now so I'm just going to eat to my heart's content the festival fits that that whole vibe is done so I can fucking stuff my face with everything under the sun until I go home so yeah I'm just waiting for the girls to get ready and then we're going to head to Mac McDonald's <laughs> 